I was in the part where Span you may have noticed in the time trial Quintana lost an outrageous amount of time. Now, it's very obvious why people lose time on the time trial. They don't have the fitness, right? Which is what most people think. And they think, you know, if you're a bigger rider, you're going to do well. But that doesn't explain Simon Yates and Enrique Mass. So I'm going to look into the aeroness of these people, right? So you can see both of these time trial positions. Straight away, you can notice the extensions here, not very tilted upwards. Uh, you can notice the extensions here tilted upwards, so it means he can bring his head closer. Both wearing glasses, I don't rate that. You should be wearing visor, it is more aero. You can also see with Simon Yates' helmet is probably more aero than this Abbas. It has some vents just here that will lose in some time. Uh, in terms of gloves, his skin suit doesn't go all the way up. Um, I guess there as well could be some gains potentially there. Um, sock length, I can't see at the moment. I think they're both wearing overshoes, so not too bad. Um, skin suit, he has the Endura skin suit, fastest on the market, no complaints from Naira Quintana. Wheel set, I think Shimano and Campagnolo are pretty similar. But anyway, this is what I'm talking about. This here is literally the most aerodynamic position you can get. Simon Yates has had his head down into his arms, and that is proven to be the most aerodynamic position. Now we look at Quintana, he is a relative bus. Look at that area here, this whole area where my mouse is here is exactly why Quintana will never do well in a time trial because he does not practice it I think enough and doesn't have the required flexibility to get into an aero position look how wide those shoulders are he's not even trying to get them close his arms are really far apart his hands are not up and just look at Simon Yates that is it the shoulders are really pushed inwards you can see here that he's trying to get as narrow as possible head is perfectly there that's why he has the helmet to try and smooth that airflow if maybe he's had his head a little bit further back it might be a little bit better but that whole turtleneck is basically what you want to do. You want to roll everything in. Look at Quintana. It looks like he's in the 1960s with that TT position. Again, we have a side-on shot here. I mean, okay, fine. I'll point the good things. Big chain ring, that will save some watts. Disc wheel here, maybe tri-spoke will be fast, but I don't think Campagnola make one. TT bike, fast. He's wearing over socks, aero, um, over shoes, sorry, aero socks, potentially. Um, helmet, not too bad. Those helmets actually don't look as bad as I thought, but that position, like, come on, man, look at the frontal area. It's just ridiculous. And then you look at that frontal area. Obviously, we have a side-on pick of Adam Yates, uh, Simon Yates. Yeah, there's Ryan Dennis. There's Jerry Roscoff. Again, can you see? I mean, he's not in a great position, but his hands are tucked up. And that's the thing you'll notice. Castro will be at home, leaves him on the start. Look at that position. So aero. That is one of the best I've seen. Um, but it's quite simple. Even Adam Yates, okay, he's not in the most aerodynamic position now. But look at the shoulder width there, and then look at Quintana. But you can just see the, like, I mean, even between them two, like, obviously the, the scale is different. But, I mean, Adam Yates really, like, I mean, he, he's worked, I mean, sorry, Simon Yates, I always get confused. Simon Yates has really worked on his TT position, like, for sure. Like, obviously, they're not going to be 100% perfect in every image you see, but the rough outlines of him with his helmet down is good. He's got the lightweight Millenstein disc wheel that is supposed to be fast-ish and very light, obviously. Uh, aero, uh, aero socks, overshoes, good, big chain ring as well. Mission Scott know what's up. They've even got the aero bottle, which I think could have some gains. Um, and he's running uh, just a C60, I guess that would be, on the front. But anyway, I mean, Henry Mass as well did well. Here's Tish Manu. Again, similar position. You can see every single one of these guys has the up, like, extensions. Um, Wilka Kelderman, fast time trialist, has those. Even Fabio Aru, who did very well in the Giro time trial, he is them. Richard Carapaz, look, Movistar, useless time trial position. Rafa Maiget, not good time trial position. Bennett, good time trial position. Kwiatkowski, good time trial position. Dalla Cruz, good time trial position. Quintana, just look at even the difference between those. The frontal area here is there. The head positions are almost in the same places, but their arms are not. Which means if you have your arms very tucked towards your head, you save so many gains. And I just don't understand. Even Lopez, I mean, he lost a lot of time. And again, his TT position is not optimal at all. And I'm not sure if that's because, I mean, obviously they do wind tunnel testing, but it's obviously he just doesn't, probably doesn't work enough time on the TT bike to get into that aero position. Because in terms of watts, there's no reason why he should be losing. I mean, Valverde's slightly better, but Valverde's such a powerful rider, he can sort of get away with it. I mean, he still lost time to Yates, which if you think about it, Valverde is heavier than him, so he should be doing more watts and would therefore be going faster. So even then, Valverde could be more error optimized Thibaut Pino's worked on his TT position. He's not too bad these days. But look at Simon Yates again. Just very error, good positioning. Um, and then Lopez, Quintana. I mean, here we go. Look at that. And then just look at that as too. I mean, is it any wonder why Quintana loses so much time? Um, 
again, that is that is actually one of my favorite animated shots. I mean, the hip angle here is so tight, and that's why you have to train. Because if you look at this hip angle here, it's actually very unnatural. But Sami Yates has got his hand straight ahead. Like, it's actually beautiful watching him time trial. He looks like a born time trialist. And obviously, he spent a lot of time on the track and etc. And look at Rowan Dennis. Look at the similarities between Rowan Dennis and Simon Yates. And that is why they're doing so well in the time trials. I mean, obviously, Rowan Dennis is winning because he's heavier. But Simon Yates is doing very well, coming 13th and not losing that much time. Um, Sagan, I mean, his TT position is all over the place. But we're not going to criticize Sagan because that's just rude. Um, but again, Edix, they've got good TT positions. Look at that. Victor Campanart. He doesn't have... I always think wearing the... Um, I've seen things where, like, if you wear sunglasses or you just have the visor on it's faster but maybe it's just too hot but anyway look at his position again i mean you look at all the fastest guys their tt position is very very similar um and quintana's is not one of them i just want to go to those when you can scroll this position to that position to that position to that position which is the fastest obviously simon yates um so yeah now we can watch actually some quintana live footage uh hopefully this doesn't get taken down but we will see Look at that. I mean, it's just like, mate, do you actually want to get any less error on a TT bike or are you okay with like that? I mean, come on. Just, he just hasn't improved. Like most people's time trial position changes over years. His looks like it's the same every single time. And then we're going to see a bit of Simon Yates' position here very quickly because the Giro probably mugged me off here. But you can see here again, even in the Giro, he's not mega, mega error. But he's definitely worked on it more in getting into the welter. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this like Quintana just needs to sort his life out um, and you'll just see the time differences look so Simon Yates only finished a little bit down to Victor Campanarts who's a very solid time trialist and you can see Enric Mas, Kwiatkowski the guys I said were doing Rail Roscoff Crasso Viejo Rowan Dennis all very aero positions Valverde managed to get away with it but again he did lose 7 seconds on a guy he shouldn't Dela Cruz Wilco Kelderman I mean Simon Yates even beat them which is pretty impressive he beat Steve Cummings and we had to scroll down to look Naira Quintana Thibaut Pino Uran um, Lopez, like their TT positions are just not good. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously TT positions is some of the fact, but it's spending time in the time trial bike, getting used to riding at fast speeds, 50, 55 Ks an hour. Um, and also just getting used to like, um, that extreme hip angle, which you have in the TT position. Like, I mean, that is not a natural way to ride your bike, but Simon Yates has put in the hard work. He's learned to put power on the flat and the climbs. And he's got a super aero position. That's why he does well in time trials. He's not going to win them, but he's going to beat a lot of people. I feel like if Froome was there, he wouldn't have lost that much time. Froome probably would have come a similar level to Castro Viejo. So he only would have lost maybe like 30 seconds, 40 seconds to Froome. And that is why he's going to win a Grand Tour. Um, and probably win the Tour de France at some point. Will Quintana? I don't know. If Quintana doesn't work on that aero position and get better at the TT, then it's just not going to happen. Even Bardet, again, just doesn't work on the TT position. And it shows. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next vid.